Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm sharing with you PlayStation Sports Games of the Future. There's many titles in the vast library of the original PlayStation that showcase sports in the future. And so in this video, I pick 10 of these games and share with you the good, the bad, and the bizarre. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this video. First up is Ball Blazer Champions, a remake of the original 84 Ball Blazer. Various options and settings. This is a two player game and it is centered around an intergalactic tournament. One of eight characters and you can equip different items to your rotofoil. This is an arena based futuristic sports arena game. I had a lot of fun going back and playing this. It is far from perfect. The control is a little slippery. So your goal is on these arenas with various weapons, you are to take the plasma orb and shoot it into the goal. There's instant replays, a lot of fun here. If you're a fan of the original Ball Blazer, you may want to check out this remake, which is pretty decent. This next original budget release surprised me, Ball Breakers. I probably overlooked playing this many times. Lots of options and variety of game play here. One of six characters you can choose from based around an intergalactic prison. And my favorite mode is tag, but I'll show you a couple different modes. This is last man rolling where you punch other prisoners to the death. This is gauntlet where you race through uh, an obstacle and get to the finish line. This is race. There are over 80 different levels across 10 incarceration areas. This is my favorite tag. A lot of fun here. You go around collecting various items in each stage. There is a time limit. I actually found myself playing this quite a bit. The 3DO Classic makes an appearance on PlayStation Battle Sport and this is like a 3D first person perspective of Ball Blazer. It's a little bit different, but it shares similarities. You can choose your opponent you compete against, or it's a two player game as well. Various different ships that you can control in an arena style game in which you take the ball and you try to score it. This one offers a variety, over 40 different weapons. You can equip your ship and upgrades as well which help you compete. So here it is, here's an arena. There's many, many different types of arenas. I was impressed with the variety of it. The control, like Ball Blazer, is a little off. It's a little slippery, and the ball physics are a little bit hard to get used to, but I can see myself playing this with a friend and having a lot of fun. If you are a fan of Ball Blazer or the original 3DO Battle Sport, you may want to check this out. It's 2096, and a bomb strapped to you is a sport. Blast Chamber offers one to four player. I really like the single player experience well over the multiplayer. And so you have these rooms which flip on the sides and rotate. It's a lot of fun. So you, pretty much you grab a bomb and try to get to the exit of each stage. Lots of different stages here. I found myself going back and trying to beat my original times. There's a lot of different ways of completing a stage. And I thought the levels were uh, pretty well thought out and designed. And so here's the multiplayer experience. This is the free for all. And you know, while I could see some people really get into it, I just thought it was a little bit muddled. I do like that you can use bots for opponents, but they can be cheap at times. The Jet Moto Trilogy on the Sony PlayStation was a great futuristic racing series. Uh, it's easy to say the first two were the better of the three. And whether you start with the first one or go with the second one, there, it's interesting note the second one, Jet Moto 2, has a championship edition which has increased frame rate but reduced opponents. And so that's the greatest hits version of the game. But I found this game to be a lot of fun. It is a little bit dated. But, you know, going back and playing this, I haven't played this game in over 10 years. And so going back and, and revisiting this series, a lot of fun. If you're looking for, like, future hover bike racing, Jet Moto 2 is a good choice. I do recommend this one over the original, but some people like the original better. 
Pit Ball is a futuristic, kind of part basketball, part Mutant League football, part something else. A lot of different options here. It's a four player game and you choose one of 12 distinct alien races, each with different abilities. And you know, to me, it's a great game. Uh, it was a little bizarre. I remember looking at this in an ad in an EGM back in the day and you choose your arena. And so here I am. And so it's kind of weird. And so you take the, the ball and you can use it as a weapon or you can jump and shoot it at a kind of a target and that's what scores points. And so, yeah, uh, each player has health. You know, there's a whole full season mode. And so there's a lot of options here. This is kind of a great uh, tournament play style game. If you're looking for something a little different and you're missing sports, this is a good option. I, I don't know if I totally loved it, but I liked it because it was just kind of bizarre. Rage Ball, another budget release. I was pleasantly surprised by this game. I actually like this one a little bit better than Pit Ball. And you choose one of various different teams. There's lots of cool features in this game. There's power-ups, various stadiums to choose, as well as a coaching mode. Really neat. And so some of the interesting features in this game, uh, you can bribe somebody in the audience to take out an opponent. I thought that was kind of interesting. You know, it's got the whole, like, you know, media start to this. And so, yeah, here, here we go. And so, uh, one thing I found challenging, and so there's different power-ups where you can speed up, you can shrink your opponent. Uh, there's there's a lot of different things you can do in this game. I found it kind of difficult to score, but once figuring out, you know, the gameplay and stuff, this game became a lot more fun. So here's, here's the, the crowd person that you can hire to take out an opponent. Uh, and so that was kind of cool. Another budget title that's not that bad. You can't talk about futuristic sports games without bringing up Speedball. And Speedball 2100 is kind of a 3D remake of Speedball 2. Now, there are going to be many people out there that prefer the original. That's okay. It's still cool to see a 3D version of the original if you don't like the original's graphics. Lots of different options here. You can fully customize a team. I really love that feature in this game and so you could have a lot of fun there you know put your friends in etc and so it's 909 i kind of like that top down overview action pretty fast not as fast as speedball 2 but pretty decent i found this one a lot of fun if you are a fan of the original speedball series you're going to feel right at home the bitmap brothers are involved and it definitely shows here definitely check this out Ever since I saw Back to the Future 2, I wanted to get on a hoverboard and race people. And PlayStation had a hoverboard racing game and it is called Streak. And it is a decent game, not the best game. I don't know if it's better than Jet Moto series. Some people like it. It's kind of combining uh, skateboarding with tricks and a traditional racing game. One to four players with various characters and different abilities. And so, here we go, and this is Streak. I enjoyed myself playing this back in the day. Kind of went back to revisit it, and it was okay. But what I do like is some of the level designs was pretty interesting. And so you go through various stages. I like the clown stage, actually. Pretty cool. Definitely some decent graphics for the time. If you're looking for hoverboard racing, definitely check out Streak. My favorite game shown today is Wipeout XL known as Wipeout 2097 elsewhere. Fantastic, futuristic, anti-gravity racing game. Uh, choose different teams, different abilities, weapons. So much fun to go. The tracks are amazing. Great graphics at the time. I played this so much over and over again. I, I just love the sense of speed that this game encapsulates. And you know, going through a level over and over again to get the best time to get a gold and definitely a, definitely one of the best racing games on the PlayStation. Definitely worth going back and revisiting. I think this is a fantastic addition to the PlayStation library. It also has a killer soundtrack for one or two players and it's a link cable compatible game. There are countless other games that I could have shown in today's video. What was your favorite? Comment below as I would love to hear from you. And as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. 
I do two videos a week and range everything from Atari to Xbox. I had a lot of fun doing this video. I definitely want to delve into the PlayStation library as there's countless other games I'd like to cover on my channel. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.